going to the doctor to see what the hell is on my face. I've been feeling really crap the last two days and I haven't really done much. I feel like I haven't been very productive. The best thing about these vlogs is that you feel productive by making a film every day. Because it's one thing to say you're a filmmaker when you're not really practicing every day. So like vlogging has been really good for me. But today, the last few days I've been having issues with my nose I've got this cyst ingrown hair thing going on, whatever, a big massive bump on my face. I'm just like sore throat. <laughs> and just general, just generally feeling unwell. And I'm not a very good patient, I'm not good at being sick, I'm hardly ever sick. I just feel kind of low at the moment, I just feel useless, like pointless, like I'm not doing anything. For a while, I'm just sitting around. I'm just editing. I'm just trying to like sort out some things. And, like I know, sometimes I can bounce from extreme highs to extreme lows. So I always try to like stay away from people in when I'm at when I'm in the low. But just there, I was really, I was really nasty to my sister, and then I was really nasty to my girlfriend Aoife. And I know these vlogs are meant to be like energetic, and I try to always show like, art. in my opinion, I, I try to express what is going on in my head through what I'm doing in the vlogs. That's why things are going quickly and do all mashing together, and I try to like do interesting edits because I just feel like in my head. My imagination is doing that. But maybe today, this vlog represents how my mind is today, which is just more slow and pensive. And I'm a bit sad, I just feel a bit sad. And I guess now I'm putting that up on the internet. So I'm one of those people. I just think there's no point in being around people if you're gonna put them down. Now, obviously, if you're the kind of person that can't be alone, or that it's not safe to be alone for yourself, then obviously you don't, you shouldn't do that. But if you're the kind of person that, when you're down, you take it out on others, then you should be by yourself. Absolutely, you should deal with your issues. You should like grow up, look yourself in the mirror, and say, "I've been to Amsterdam, Dubai, and Berlin." and it's only February. I've got a three month pretty much like internship with this creative building in Dublin called Fumbly Exchange. I'm doing more projects than I ever have. I always feel healthy. And this is just a small little hiccup. My laptop is fine. I'm gonna be getting it back in a few days. My GoPro is upstairs and frozen, but that's okay. Every day I have these issues and I'm usually able to just skip over them. I'm just like, I, I, don't, I don't give them my attention. But I guess today I just, all the little negative things just kind of build up and then you're, you feel like they win over you, you know? I'm not sure what my point is or why I even, this does feel like I'm getting things off my chest by even saying it here. I guess this is my way of saying I'm not always happy, you're not always happy, everyone is not always happy and you're allowed to do this every now and then to just be honest and be 
be honest in saying that you're not happy today. You had a low day. You were you, bit, you were a bit of an asshole to people. You're frustrated. You're on antibiotics or whatever the hell I'm on. Anti antibiotics. I don't know. And I'm not sure how I feel about antibiotics, but like, what else am I meant to do? Like, I don't want this to become a bigger serious issue than it already is. Not that it's much of an issue right now. It's only a bit painful. So I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and no matter how I feel, I'm gonna be my usual self. I'm gonna be excited, I'm gonna be motivated, I'm gonna be happy for another day and I'm gonna get shit done. Thank you for listening to my rant. The normal vlog will resume tomorrow.